Hi everybody, it's me, Curry T, and I have a new background because I'm in a new place. I'm in Tenerife now, so we're here for the next six weeks. So if you're wondering where I am when I'm filming these videos, this is where I am. So there you go. Right, so this video is going to be about my view on tough love because I know that there's a lot of that out there, but I saw a post uh, the other day that really got to me and I was worried about people's mental health when they saw it. And I'm not gonna say who it was, but the post said something along the lines of, if your SP hasn't come back, then you're doing something wrong. If your SP isn't coming back fast, then you're doing something wrong. <sighs> it's, it's just so frustrating to hear these things because it is literally, fueling the very thing that we are trying to avoid in this community, which is this idea of not feeling good enough and feeling like we're doing something wrong. I don't want anyone to feel like they're doing something wrong. You are not doing anything wrong. You are where you are right now with the level of consciousness that you currently have. If you knew how to do things differently, you would do them differently, but you only know what you know. We only ever know what we know and we can't look back at ourselves and think, oh no, why did I do that? And why didn't I know that? And if I'd only known what I know now, then it would have been different. But there's no point doing that because that lesson was there for you to know what you know now. Do you see what I mean? So you're supposed to be where you are and your journey is unfolding exactly as it should. So I really want you to be really mindful of content that you consume. I really want you to be mindful of the things and the messaging that you're getting from this community. And if you see anything that actually makes you feel bad, actually makes you feel like, oh no, I'm doing something wrong, or it makes you question if you're good at manifesting, or it makes you question if you're good enough in any way, I mean, the answer is, yes, you are always good enough. You always are good enough. It's not even a question. It's not a question that you ever need to ask yourself. Of course, you are powerful and you can do anything. Because in my opinion, it's, it's not very compassionate or understanding for someone to say to you, you're doing it wrong. What are you doing? You're doing it all wrong. Or if it's not happening, then you're obviously doing something wrong. I, I don't think that is helpful and I also think that it can make people panic as well it can make people you know avoid the the actual problem which is this feeling this deep feeling of of not feeling good enough the feeling of inadequacy which we're trying to eradicate from your experience of life right you're good enough okay you're good enough and you are exactly where you're meant to be and also all the things that you know now are relevant to where you are at in your journey this is where you're supposed to be in your journey here today knowing what you know now and that's right that's everything that is supposed to be and all of the things that you're going to learn all of the layers of yourself that you're going to peel off they will come when you are ready for that to happen not sooner not later just there's no rush there is no rush okay everything is happening as it should. One of the reasons why I'm really not a fan of tough love is because it makes me feel really bad when anyone has ever done that to me. It feels really uncompassionate and really unloving. And I've had loads of experiences where I've experienced tough love myself. Um, and being on the receiving end of it, I'm just not someone who can tolerate it. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't make me feel better. It doesn't inspire me. It doesn't push me. It just makes me feel bad. And I've had members of my family do this tough love thing. And I just I just ended up feeling worse. And there was one time I remember in particular where I was having a panic attack. And I was actually at an anxiety recovery retreat. And I was panicking. I was actually, my body was full of adrenaline. Something was happening and I don't know what. But I was really freaked out. And I wanted some love. I wanted someone to hug me. I wanted some support. I wanted someone to tell me that everything was going to be okay. And I really, really needed some loving, compassionate support. But what I was met with that day was no, no, you are not doing this. Get back to your room, sort yourself out and come to dinner. There are people waiting for you. Don't be so selfish. And I was like, just, and I was actually more traumatized with that than I was about the panic. 
itself. And I never forgot the way that that person spoke to me. And I never ever want to make anyone feel like I did that day. So this is why it's such a big thing for me whenever I see this tough love approach on the internet and on, you know, this community. And it is why you will never get a tough love approach from me. It's not gonna happen. I just want you to feel very okay with where you're at in this journey. It's all going well. <laughs> it's all happening as it should be. So also I've got my uh, self-concept and inner healing transformation course happening next week. So that's seven days from now. So at the moment it's on pre-sale. So you can get discounted tickets right now until the 11th. Um, I would love to see you there. I think it's going to be a beautiful time, beautiful period of time with a small community of people who are doing this inner work and healing together. And I'm a really big believer in healing as a community. And uh, I want to be a space, I want to provide a space to give you that support network so you can meet other people who are doing the same thing. You know, growing, unraveling things about themselves in perfect timing all in perfect timing. You're gonna get the lessons that you are ready to hear. And you know, if you're doing the course, you're ready to hear stuff. You're ready to unravel things. You, you invest in that so that you can learn more about yourself, understand more about yourself, about other people and the way that you're functioning and the way that you're experiencing yourself and other relationships. And the more that we work on ourselves, the more that the relationships around us change and evolve and grow and it's beautiful and it's magic. So I can't wait for that course to start. It's gonna be a beautiful time for all of us, including me. So if you would like some information about that, then let me know. The link will be below. You can book a spot there if you would like to come and I will see you in the next video. Bye.